Okay, so I wanted to show you a little bit about what happened and how we can prevent doing this. So, uh, I'm using Google Chrome, so I haven't been infected. But uh, there's some cross-site scripting on this website right here. So I was looking for a way to fix and rig up uh, some antenna ideas for my new router. And I saw this windsurfer. I heard some things about it. I wanted to read some more about it. So I clicked on the picture. And uh, this pop-up came up. And mindlessly thinking, sure, whatever, okay, whatever. I shouldn't have, but I did. And then, boom, it looks like I'm infected. And it looks like it's doing a scan. And it looks like it's found a whole bunch of Trojans and all these bad things. And I thought, oh, and then the pop-up came up. I wanted to read what was going on behind it. So I clicked on this guy and tried moving him. And right then I got a download. And I thought, oh, that's not right. So uh, I wanted to do an X. I tried going back and saying leave the page. And that actually worked. Well, let's get back to where we were here. This is all fake. And what people need to understand is that it's a complete website. All this is is a website right here. You can see the URL. That's the website for it. And if you uh, use some of Google Chrome's development tools, you can see the different parts of the uh, web code right here. And if we do a quick search here for on click, because that's usually a good way to get people to download what you want them to download, everything on here that is down that is a link of some sort, like you can see right here, there's some links. There are on click. Uh, functions that call the download function. I haven't been able to see what the download function does, but we can look that up real quick too. Download function. So right here is the download function and uh, it calls something from the uh, download.php. So this website looks like it's actually been uh, infected by some cross-site scripting. Uh, so it's actually inside the website that's causing the problem. It's not necessarily script that's laying on the top layers. This PHP is run on the server. Uh, on the server, and then you can see what else. That's what it loads. Here's some rest of the functions, setting things to visible, hiding some things. Uh, it's just a mess. And then here comes the file that it's doing. All this this big mess down here. Uh, well, that's not going to work. But basically, it's just a website. A lot of people don't understand that it's just a website and by not clicking, by clicking on anything, even the X button, my, Google has prevented me from doing this too many times. So let's, uh, let's show you what this URL is like. Actually, let's go back and do the whole thing from the beginning. So copying the URL that I got, let's do Internet Explorer, because that's usually a pain. So this should take me to the exact same place with all those images. Yep, there we go. So let's see. It looks like it was the second windsurfer picture that got me in the bad spot. Oh, and there we go. Windows Security has found a critical process activity on your system and will perform a scan. And then you're like, okay, whatever, you're going to scan my files. And then notice right here, we're still in a browser. This is just a website. Windows 7 does a really good job of preventing this kind of stuff, but it is not easy to prevent this stuff on Windows XP which a lot of people still use. If we go to my computer you can see that my computer looks much different right here than how this looks. So here we go. Making sure everything's still working. Windows 7 it's easier to spot these things but uh, unfortunately when you're running Windows XP this security alert window with the little firewall icon and this shield it really looks legit and a lot of people have done this and installed it accidentally so I'll show you here what happens let's say I want to move this and look at oh right here it says that uh, Internet Explorer says oh it looks like something tried downloading so that's easy to click X let's say you want you think it's a real window and you want to exit the window now it's actually trying to download so it's trying to uh, download an executable. If you run this executable, or if you just click run or save and it winds up running in the background, you're going to install this virus. Uh, I call it ransomware. It's a, vi it's a program. You can call it a virus. But uh, it looks like an antivirus software, and it holds your computer ransom. It keeps saying that you're infected and won't let you do certain things until you pay $20 or whatever to the company that wrote the program. And then once you pay them your money, 
you can uninstall it or you do a scan and you think you're being protected when really you're not. It's really important to understand your uh, antivirus software that you've got going. I run Microsoft Security Essentials so it's a lot easier to uh, it's fantastic and it's free so I really like it. It does a good job with malware as well as viruses and you can see that I'm, I'm doing a full scan just to make sure that I haven't been infected with all the clicking and testing I've been doing with this. I've been reading a lot of the code seeing what I, uh, what does and doesn't do and kind of going right up to the edge of almost infecting my machine just so I can help people know where to stop doing things and to stop clicking. So the most important thing is to not click, period. Because right now, nothing has been installed on this machine, nothing has been run, and uh, nothing is maliciously being executed. However, you can see here that these are hyperlinks. If I click on one of these, boom, I get another download. If uh, I wanted to say control panel or something silly like that, uh, even the, the X button is is hyperlinked. If you wanted to say remove all, you're going to get the same thing. And also, coincidentally, if you hit the cancel button, the exact same thing. Uh, how, the way we looked at Chrome here, when we did the uh, on click, I won't uh, bore you with everything that I found, but pretty much anything that's a hyperlink has got JavaScript on it, uh, on clicking, uh, and anything that's on click is uh, running this download this download function that's trying to install, you know. So click, the download function executes, it's trying to install this. You can always say cancel, but a lot of people just click on run anyway because they think that they really are uh, they really are infected. Uh, I don't know about some of the older versions of Windows, but I'm really sure that you never get any of this flashy crap. This is JavaScript, blink, uh, HTML5 blink stuff, this is CSS usually. CSS or HTML, it's just eye candy. This is not legitimate stuff, but people think, oh, it's legit. So, it's also important to understand that this is not the website I was trying to get to when I clicked on those uh, airwave things. So, it's easy for people to understand that this isn't what was supposed to happen if you know what's supposed to happen. But unfortunately, most people don't really know what's supposed to happen, and they trust that whatever they click on is going to send them to where they want to go. So, Oh yeah, that's Google Chrome. So there's the Google Chrome here. Let's go back to Internet Explorer. And uh, of course, anything I click on is gonna install this. I'm half tempted to just run it to see what kind of ha what happens, but I don't really want to tank my system. These viruses are really kind of easy to get a hold of. Let's say you want to say cancel, something pops up, and you say run. I'm not gonna click on it, but you say run, and it installs. Uh, your system's not completely fragged yet. The user that's installing, so right now I'm logged in as on my machine, my user profile then becomes corrupted. And this virus program is going to run every time I log in. So what's important to do is to reboot the machine. After that happens, don't give anyone your personal information, don't click on any links. The best thing to do once that accidentally installs and you see something strange that says antivirus 2011 and you run Symantec or Norton or in my case uh, Microsoft Security Essentials if you see something running that's not one of the things that you know is your virus protection software what the, the good thing to do is to boot into safe mode reboot your machine and tap uh, F8 uh, you can use networking I usually boot with networking enabled and then you need to log in as someone else other than you so I've got an administrator account on this machine as well so I would log in as administrator or if you're if you have a husband and wife and the husband gets infected the wife should log in under her account and then what needs to be done is something really simple that anyone can do at home you need to go into your uh, your programs file and go to uh, accessories and then you need to go to your system tools and then you're gonna find a program called system restore now if you try doing a system restore from the infected profile the virus is gonna prevent anything like that from happening uh, the virus will prevent uh, you from doing a disk check. It'll prevent you from uninstalling the program. The virus will prevent you from doing a uh, control alt delete and getting into task manager. Uh, and that's really frustrating. But if you go into safe mode and you go into a, in a profile that hasn't been affected, you can do a system restore. And then what you do is you restore to a system point before you were infected. So the day before, something like that. That'll go through and 
redo all the registry keys and uh, all the important system files, it'll restore those back to how they were before the virus changed them. Now I've noticed in the many machines that I've tried fixing, if you tried clearing the virus off by another way, like a, a very powerful antivirus system, or maybe even more powerful than uh, Microsoft Security Essentials like Nod32 or, or uh, some Linux software, if you try going in there and ripping this thing out, it leaves a lot of registry keys stranded. And what happens is that a lot of things don't work the way they should anymore. It breaks a lot of your files. Uh, think of it as uh, it held your system ransom and you eliminated it before you did the deal and you never got back what was being ransomed. That's kind of what happens when you go through the brute force way. Uh, if you do the system restore, it's kind of like you strike a deal with the company and you get all your files and everything back without uh, completely messing up your system. So it's best to try the simple uh, safe mode version and the system restore first. That usually does it. Uh, and if that doesn't do it, then usually the only thing after that uh, is re uh, taking some very beefy software and removing the virus and I've seen that more often than not ruin registries and then at that point the only thing you can do is try backing up as much as you can copy to an external hard drive and then uh, reinstalling your operating system which takes a lot of time and money and uh, you wind up losing a lot of things that you didn't want to lose like pictures and music and that kind of stuff so this is just a little thing to help uh, people understand that the there are a lot of these cross-site and uh, redirect websites that try getting you to do something that isn't smart and winds up getting you infected. These guys right here, ce.ms. Well, that's the website that's trying to pull the downloaded file from. So they might look legit, but really they're not. So just be extra careful. Try the system restore through another profile while your machine's booted into safe mode. And then once you think everything is done, it's always good to use your system scanner and do another full system scan just to make sure you got everything. And uh, I think that's about it. I showed you the code. You, we could look at this one real quick, inspect element. You know, and I could change some of this stuff on the fly and do a mouse over so that it starts downloading. But Google Chrome, Google Chrome is really fantastic at preventing you from getting these types of viruses that uh, piggyback off of poorly secured websites. Uh, you know, it's really easy to write some code that uh, gets executed when somebody looks at a comment on CNN.com or something like that. So, uh, I would highly recommend Google Chrome. Uh, the newer versions of Internet Explorer 8 and 9 have been doing a really a much better job of making sure that you have the option to cancel if something pops up like this that's stupid. Um, but yeah, if you've noticed, I've been attempting to download this a good 15 times the tutorial's been going on, and Internet Explorer hasn't warned me about, oh, this is strange that one website's trying to get you to download something multiple times. Google Chrome has already figured that out, and they've actually, uh, Google Chrome has actually disabled the downloadable content from the site, so if I keep, you can see that it's sending the request down here in the bottom left corner. If I keep, keep, keep clicking on anything like this the request never gets transferred I don't ever get the executable file downloaded again so Google Chrome does a fantastic job of preventing this from happening even if you don't really know what's going on but uh, we'll, uh, we'll read the page but yeah it's important to understand a little bit about what's going on what to look for that's not real and do your best to stay stay away from it if it does pop up and something's asking for your credit card information uh, to rid viruses have faith that you know enough about what you're doing that you don't give them your information call someone call one of your friends um, and just get some help rather than getting yourself in even more trouble by giving your giving that kind of information to bad people that will do bad things with it so I hope that helps and uh, helps keeps you away from all the bad things <laughs>